we'll start with my favorite, the trilene knot. You first pass the tag end through the eye of the hook. You pull enough line to make a loop, then you pass the tag end through the eye again. You cinch the loop down, then begin twisting the tag line around the main line. You twist four or five times. You then push the tag in through the loop and cinch the knot. Wetting the knot with spit makes it cinch down easier. Then you trim the tag end and you're done. The next knot is the quick change loop knot. You pull the tag end and loop it over into a large loop. You then perform an overhand knot and wrap it around once or twice. If I'm using the loop for a heavier weight, I'd probably wrap it twice. You pass the loop through the eye of the weight, then pass the weight back through the loop. and that's ready to go for a drop shot rig. The next knot is the drop shot knot. You take the tag end and pass it through the eye of the hook. Pull enough through to make a loop. With the tag end on the left side and the main line on the right, you then wrap the hook around the loop three or four times. I place the handle of my scissors on the hook to give it some weight as I pull both sides of the knot. This knot helps the hook to stay perpendicular to the line. The next knot is a dropper loop knot. You pull the tag in enough to make a large loop. Using the middle fingers of each hand, you pull the loop taut, then use your index fingers and your thumbs to twist the line on itself three or four times. You then reach through the twist and grab the loop on the other side. Hold the loop with one end and the ends in the other and slowly pull the line taut. Then pass the loop through the eye of the hook, then the hook back through the loop. The knots on both sides of the loop keep the loop perpendicular to the line. And that's the dropper loop knot. The final knot is a loop knot. You take the tag end and you perform an overhand knot. Then you take the tag end and slide it through the eye of the jig head. Move the jig all the way to the loop. Next, you take the tag end and move it up through the loop. Now wrap the tag end around the main line three or four times.
Then take the tag end and pass it back down through the loop. Hold the tag end on the other side of the loop and pull the main line tight. This knot allows the jig head to move a little more freely underwater. Oh, check out some of my lure making videos. Really, go check them out.